Julie Browse, Issa Nomden, also a great finish. Let's have a look back at the highlights of that one. Vodonchka really showed early on that she meant business today. She certainly did. She took it out hard, put kind of everyone else on the back foot, got it down to a group of four pretty early on, and then realised that she couldn't ride the front for the full 45 minutes, so she kind of eased back once she realised the riders were very strong behind and able to come back to the wheel. Even when she did manage to get a gap, they just kept coming back. So she went back into the group, had a look, see where everyone was strong, perhaps where others had chinks in the armour. Her and Bentfeld looked very, very good through the sand each lap. I think Bentfeld perhaps will be ruining getting caught behind Manon Backer when Verdansk got really made that big move. 100%. I was yeah, I was going to say it would have been interesting to see what Bentfeld could have done if she'd been right on the wheel when Verdansk got did go, but it was Backer in fact who was in that second position, and this is where we saw that gap just begin to open up through one of the hardest sections of the course. And it did. It did look. It, came, it held for a while. I think Manon's, it, you know, hop in the planks as she was. It does help her like a couple of seconds uh, here and there. But for for Laura coming in off that fifth place, and this is on the final lap. Manon just that front wheel, just get mind of its own, just turning <laughs> turning left on her. Yeah, exactly. Just how thick that mud is. Uh, just the bike kind of got too close to those barriers, went into them, and that was the battle for her second lost for her. Great televised uh, win here for Laura Doncho. Another really strong performance from Leonie Benfield. Man on backer on the podium. We'll be back for the Elite Men's Race in a little while from Martin McDonald and Ian Fitt. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.